the third quantity that we need for our calculations is something we call C, or the design effect. This is the inflation factor that will buy back our statistical power that we lose when we go from a simple random sample to a cluster sample. In order to calculate the design effect, we need two inputs. The first will come from the steering committee or maybe from the survey manager. They need to tell us how many completed survey responses they believe each team will be able to gather in each cluster with maybe a one day or a two day visit to the cluster. So they'll need to think hard about how many workers will comprise a team, whether they want that team to spend one day or two days in the cluster. And they can revise these quantities later, but we need to start with a rough figure for the number of completed responses, the average number of completed responses per cluster in some reasonable amount of time. And this, this is a number that will usually fall somewhere between 5 and 15. It doesn't usually make sense to collect data from more than 15 respondents per cluster, nor from fewer than 5. We call this quantity little m. The last input that we need to calculate the design effect is called the intracluster correlation coefficient, or ICC. The ICC is a number that you might find reported in an earlier, from an earlier survey. If so, you could use that number. But it's more likely that you won't have a good value to use, and so you'll just select a conservative value from Annex B1. Table C in Annex B1 is what we use to calculate the design effect. Let's look at an example. In this example, we expect to get data on average from five respondents per cluster, and we're doing a routine immunization, or RI, survey. We can see then that we're going to be looking in this column, five respondents per cluster, and we see over here in the description that a conservative choice for routine immunization surveys is an ICC of one-third, so we'll be looking in this row. The intersection of that row and column gives us a design effect of two 0.33. That's the value that will carry forward into the sample size calculations.